Hey guys, it's Siggy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be watching the biggest school in the world. And this is City Montessori in India. So yeah, we're going to get right into the video. And yeah, let's take a look at the biggest school in the world. Imagine that. That means that that's a lot of kids in there. The first Whoa. day in class is a daunting prospect. So imagine being one of, of the 47,000 pupils on the register of the world's biggest school. City Montessori in Lucknow, India is so My large goodness. that no venue is big enough to hold an entire school assembly. Uh. Dr. Jagdish Gandhi has the unenviable task of presiding over the 20 campus school, which has been recognized by Guinness World Records. I founded this school with only five children. And that too I got with great difficulty. So from word of mouth it is spread. And slowly and slowly it started you know, with started five. Coming. <laughs> and you know, year after year, the number fell. It is in 20 campuses in the city of Lucknow. Even in a small town there are there is not so much of big population like 47,000. Like For 14 year olds like Kanika Gupta. Being one of thousands of students at CMS has its ups and downs. Well, I would certainly say that all schools are good, but CMS, I would not think of leaving it. I cannot imagine leaving it. Lessons in the school's 1,000 plus classrooms may look fairly familiar, but the subjects taught often aren't. Alongside geography, oh God, history so and English, classes of up to 47 <laughs> pupils are also so taught adorable. messages of universal peace. Miss Alchana Mishra is one of 2,500 wow. teachers charged with sharing this unique message with students. I've been a part of CMS for the uh, last six years. Teaching is not so easy nowadays because we are dealing with the generation which is hi-fi, mm -hmm. high-tech. They know everything, they know about everything, they know, sometimes they even know more than us. <laughs> we give them extra classes, suppose we are not uh, <laughs> able to give proper attention to any particular child. Everything about CMS is big. It has 4,000 staff, oh around 30,000 computers, wow. and goes through thousands of pounds worth of stationery each year. The daily 15-minute lunch break is no minutes? less chaotic. Each day at 10.40 a.m., up to 4,000 pupils swirl the school's tiny canteen Jesus. area, scoffing hundreds of vegetable patties and burgers. And now on the sports field, oh God, proceedings have an element of I, military I, I pomp to them. <laughs> Egg and spoon races are ditched in favor of human pyramids and sack races. I never realized that it is going to be so big. It was a very proud moment for us. That's so cool, Guinness man. They made it to the Guinness Book of World Records. It was in 1999. At that time, there were only 22,000 children. But now, the number has been more than doubled. Despite already being the world's biggest, City Montessori's growth doesn't look like slowing up. Wow. This school is just massive. All those kids, can you imagine like being a teacher and having to teach all of them? Oh, I, I couldn't imagine it. No, my anxiety will be off the roof and I have absolutely no patience whatsoever with um, loud kids. You definitely have to give all the teachers a huge shout out and like big hugs and kisses because i am telling you to have to be a teacher in today's society especially with kids that think they know it all because that's the truth i mean we live in a world today where every kid is like some kind of like it major i mean they know more than we know i mean seriously my nieces and nephews are like mr know-it-alls but yeah if i had to do something in school i had to pull out an encyclopedia and do my research paper i couldn't just go on the computer and then you know google it and there are the answers and i think that's probably like a lot of teachers in the world have to go through is trying to do that whole entire debate back and forth with the students because most of them kind of feel like they know it all anyways guys comment below let me know a little bit more about the school is it a public school like anybody can go or do you have to pay to go to that school who provides the uniforms as well as the books and anything else that they need is the lunch for free and 15 minutes for lunch that to me is just crazy how long does it take to like sit them down and and feed them all and then i mean 
I guess you technically have to swallow all your food really fast and I don't think that's healthy. I, mean, I think it's actually really cool though in the sense of it's just so many of them so they always have fun activities happening at the school. I am not quite sure. And yeah guys, I'm gonna get going but I will be seeing you on my next video.